Exactly. All right, um, important skill that we're going to work right now, and this is going to address interval, interval off of the barricade. It's easy for us to take and start every drill if we walk up and we're holstered and we're relaxed and we say, okay, oh, we got a good warm fuzzy and I'm the proper interval away, and then any idiot can take and do that perfectly. Where are we going to mess this up? Two conditions primarily. And also, we've been moving laterally. So if we start at a good interval and we move laterally, we're going to still have a good interval. The two times this becomes problematic is moving forward and moving backward. Moving forward, why is it a problem? Because I'm aggressive, I'm coming and I'm charging into the barricade and I've got to get that proper interval. So one is if you guys have what we call SSA, which is situational and spatial awareness, spatial awareness. So, you know, a cat's whiskers are only so big that tells him, can I fit in this space? So if you're good at this and we start back and we're at a distance and I hit the gas and I come trucking forward and I know what good interval looks like, and I draw my gun, and I stop, and I've got that good interval, that's okay. If you're a guy who isn't so good at that, you may have to go to the dummy proof method, which is what? Touch it full extension, and then a big boy step back. So I come up, I touch it full extension, big boy step back, and then I've got my proper interval. With a handgun, what's a hazard in doing that? Look at my handgun, it's in a high ready or a compressed ready, and I come up and I touch the barricade. So heart rate's elevated, lungs are full of air, legs are pumping, and I come up and I touch that barricade or jam into it, and I clack one right into my hand, which is uh, not good for your health. So be conscious of that. Everybody understand. So that's moving forward. Just hips are going in the same direction. Where this becomes equally problematic is coming back. So if you guys come out here, I am aware, I am aware that I just passed a piece of cover. So I passed that piece of cover, this thing cooks off, I take and come out here, bap, 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 bap. I go to gun, and I wanna move back to that barricade. There's two ways to get back to it, what are they? Toe to toe, keeping my hips towards the adversary, so I'm here and I'm moving back to it, and what's the other way? Is there a time and place to turn around? What if it's not five steps behind me, what if it's 50 steps behind me? Don't walk backwards. So suppress that threat, I handle that problem, when it's safe enough to do so, I'm looking, I might even keep the muzzle oriented there or check muzzle and I turn and I run. Okay, well now I'm coming back. When do I dip behind the barricade? And this is when we get the problem is as soon as I have an out, I say, oh, okay, that's enough. And I slide in behind it and I'm net down too close. So it's a weird thing under stress to tell ourselves, okay, coming back, coming back, nope, yes. And then move when we're a little bit deeper. We don't abandon proper interval just because we're moving forward or just because we're moving back. Does that make sense to everybody? Good. Up. He gives me that command, I hit the gas, I'm trucking in, and I touch, big boy step back, I'm here, push out. Got my interval. If I'm in front, I'm up here. Jerome, give me that command. Up. Further, and there's my out, then I dip in and I'm here. 